In this video, I'm going to be talking about my five favorite Elementor Pro features. But before we get started, I have an affiliate link in the video description below. If you purchase Elementor Pro using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Elemental Pro Mastery course, a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with Elemental. All right, let's start off with number one. So let's say you want to create a color palette and you're struggling. Did you know that you can create color palettes within Elemental? Let me show you how. So over here, I'm going to add my uh, layout here and add an image. So I want to create my color palette based on an image. I'm going to come over here to add an element and then I'm going to drag and drop this image uh, element, and then I'm gonna choose my image. So let's say the image I'm going to work with is this one right here, I'm gonna click on select. So the next thing you wanna do now is uh, decide where you want to use the colors. So for example, maybe I want my color here in the background. So now I can just click here on this um, container, go to my colors, so I'm gonna come over here to style. Now notice what happens. If I click here now on classic and click here on color, you are going to notice that we have a color sampler right here. If I click on that and then hover over my image, I can just click once and notice that we have now created a color palette right there. And this color palette works great with these colors right here. So let's say for my background, I want to have, let's say something like that. Now I have my background color. Now I'm going to add some text as well. So I'm going to drag and drop my text like that. And let's change our layout. So I'm gonna come over here, go to layouts, and then I'm gonna make it horizontal. So let's say my text color here needs to also work well with our image and our background. So what I need to do is to click over here, come to style. Let's go to our color here. Again, I'm gonna click on my color sampler. I'm gonna come over here. And now I can choose a color that works with what I have over here. But just make sure that you're going to choose a color which has great contrast, something like that. So you can continue on and design your website with the inbuilt color palette that we have in Elementor Pro. Now let's talk, let's talk about our second feature. This feature here is really, really cool. Let me show you. So with this feature now, let's say you want to have a document that has all your colors, pretty much a color guide. Elementor has this as well. So if I come over here, I'm gonna to go to site settings and then I'm gonna come over here to global colors. Now notice that we have our color guide preview. This is our primary color. I can go in here and start changing my color palette. And if I do that, this is going to update my colors pretty much across the whole website, just from this one document. This is amazing. I really, really love this feature. Okay, so you can also do the same with your secondary colors, your text colors, your accent color, and so on. We also have these custom colors as well. And these are also great because you can use them on different parts of your website. We also have full transparency and all of that. Now, not only do we have the color palette, which we can control on one central place, we also have our fonts. And if I click that, you notice that now we have our fonts right here. So over here, we have our body text. If I go in here, I can pretty much go in and change my text. Look at that. I can go in now and change this from light to normal. And across the whole website, this is going to be looking awesome. Now, you may be wondering, okay, so where are these things when you're designing your website? If I click on Save Changes and then go, uh, and then go back to our site, let's say I want to start adding colors here. If I come over here now to Global Colors, these are the colors and they also follow me as I'm designing my site. So over here, let me just uh, close out of this and go to a new page. Now, right away, you're going to notice that my text here is updated to the bold. So let's say I want to change my colors. I'll just click over here. And if I go to style, these are where all my colors are going to be. So you'll notice that if I do that, this is my primary color, secondary color, accent color, and so on. Okay, it's time now to talk about feature number three, and this is the Flexbox. I really love Flexbox because it makes the design of pretty much any complex layout very, very easy. Now, in this example here, I was able to build this layout pretty much using Flexbox. And the one thing I also like about it is if I come over here to my uh, mobile view, I can actually go in and design this the way I want, and it updates and selects all my mobile view options over here on the left, which is pretty cool. So let's say I want to swap these. I want feature three to uh, become a feature one over here on the top. All I have to do is to click here on this container and I can just click here on column reversed 
and now you can see feature three now is on the top followed by feature two and feature one this will be very very difficult to do if we were not using flexbox so if i, if I want to change it around i can just do that and you notice that feature one now is at the top the same applies here on mobile devices. I can also go in here and disable certain, certain items on mobile devices. So that was feature number three. Feature number four is the ability to package your website and then set it up as a kit to either sell or to give to your customers or even give it away as a freebie. Let me show you how to do that. So let's say our website is complete here. You are happy with the design and now you want to sell or package it. You, all you have to do is to, first of all, leave the design here and then you want to come over here to Elementor, you go to Tools, then you want to click on Import and Export. So here we have two options. We have the option to export the template kits or we can import the template kit. So let's say in this case we want to export it. I can just click over here on a Start Export and now it tells me that it's going to package the templates, it's going to package the content. These are all the elemental pages, landing pages, posts, and so on. Over here, it also exports the site settings. Now, <laughs> if we try to do this with other page builders, we would have to purchase a separate plugin, which costs about 299 per year, just to do the same thing that Elemento is giving you away for free in the Elemental Pro program this is amazing i really really love this feature in fact um if you haven't visited funnels to income.com i have some uh, templates that i sell on there and at the moment they are dv based but definitely i'm going to be utilizing this feature and sell these kits which i can create using elemental really really love this feature okay so let's go to uh number five and number five is the mega menu so let me show you how that works so if you want to create a mega menu what you would need to do is to come over here, you go to the theme builder. So you decide what you want to build. In this case, it's the um, header. I'm going to come over here. So what we can do is to click here on add new. So this now opens up a new um, page. I'm going to close out of here because I'm going to build mine from scratch. Click here on this plus button and designing our um, header is going to be very easy. I've chosen my layout here. So let's say my first element is going to be the logo. I'm just going to drag and drop my site logo just like that. Of course, I know it's way too big, but what we're here for is the mega menu. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and to add the mega menu, what you want to do is to use this one here called menu. So you notice that we have the, we have the uh, WordPress menu and we also have the mega menu. So I'm going to drag and drop it in here like that. Now, of course, I want it on the other side. So I'm just going to come in here and just reverse it. Okay, excellent. So all I have to do now is to go in and resize my items. I can space them out. So I'm going to come over here into this mega menu. Make sure it's aligned all the way to the right. And if I need to customize this now, I can go in and start adding all my elements. So I can add a new item here. So let's say this item is, um, let's say, user like that. Now I can decide to either add a drop down or not. So if I click on that, that is going to be the design of our mega menu. And what I really like about the mega menu here is I can add pretty much anything in here. So notice that if I click on that, now I can add all my elements in this mega menu item. So first of all, I can add a background color. I'm going to come over here, go to my classic, and let's say I'm going to add my background color like that so that we can see what is happening. And now I can start adding all my elements. I'm going to click here. So let's say my first element here is going to be a video. Drag and drop it like that. I know it's looking massive. So let's say our other element here is a login. I'm going to click here on this plus button. And let's add our login like that. And all I have to do now is to make sure that this is set the right way like that. Okay, look at that. So now I have a video and I also have the login right here. So how this works now is let me just save this so you can see what this looks like. So let's publish it. And I'm going to add a condition here and say entire site, save and close. So to test and see if this is working, I'm going to open my site here in a new tab like that. And then I'm just going to hit paste. And now when I hover over here, notice that we have our video. Of course, this is just a quick design. 
So it opens up when you hover over here, which is fantastic. You can pretty much add whatever you want in this drop down. You can add videos, you can even add icons, and you could also add, add some pages. Pretty much this is open to your creativity. So this mega menu is very, very easy to create. And I really, really love this. Now, I almost forgot. I know I've given you five favorite ones, but I've got a bonus for you. And this bonus here is the Elemental AI. Elemental AI is so awesome. In fact, I did a video yesterday where I created a landing page purely using AI. And also, of course, I was designing it, but the text was done using AI. It is fantastic. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. And to access the AI, it is very, very easy. All you have to do is to add an element. So let's say I want to add a text element here. I'm going to go in and add my text like that. And you're going to notice that we have this uh, little button here which says write with AI. All you need to do is to click on it and then you can give it a prompt to produce whatever it is that you want. So for example here you can write a product description. Uh, so let's say I add this one here for um, let's say fitness belt. So what this does is it just gives you an idea of uh, what you can add and then you can always go in and edit it. So it's not going to be the same every time. So look at this. Just by adding that, it has given me the results here. Introducing your fitness belt, the perfect accessory to elevate your workout routine made from highly quali uh, high quality durable materials, blah, 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 blah. You can even go in and shorten this. Now, there's a lot of features with Elementor AI. So um, I'm not going to go into detail and... Um, cover all that in this video, but pretty much these are my six favorite features in Elementor Pro. Pretty, pretty awesome. All right, guys, what are your favorite features in Elementor? Please leave them in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.